Setting up a Coral Score Templates in the Setup Wizard In this video, we will create a new SATB Coral Score using the Setup Wizard. When you open Finale, the launch window automatically appears on your screen. If it is not showing, choose the File menu, Launch Window to bring it up. When creating a new score, you can select a template which is a pre-configured empty score that best matches your instrumentation, or you can use the Finale Setup Wizard, which walks you through creating a new score by selecting the staves, entering the title information, and the score settings. Let's look at the template options first. On the Launch window, click on the Templates button. Here you will find several empty choir score setups for Barbershop, SATB, two or four staff with piano, show choir, SSA or TTBB with piano. Under church templates, there are several hymnal options available. Now let's go back to the launch window and click on the setup wizard button. In column one, under select an ensemble, there are also some templates listed here. You can choose SATB plus Piano, choose one of the preset ensembles from the list, or create a new score from scratch. Let's set up the Hymn to Joy score by clicking on Create New Ensemble. The score and part page sizes default to 8.5 by 11 and portrait orientation. If you prefer to choose Choral Octavo size for your score, Click on the drop-down menu and choose Octavo. For this tutorial example, let's leave the default score and part page size settings as is at 8.5 by 11 and Portrait. A document style contains setup for music and text fonts, layouts and specialized markings for specific types of musical scores. The engraved style is Finale's all-purpose document style using the Maestro font. Let's look at some of the vocal choral options that are available. In the choral category, you can select from the engraver or Maestro font for the notes and articulations. When creating a choral score, you definitely would want to choose one of these two options, as both automatically place the dynamics above the staff and have wider staff spacing to accommodate lyrics. Just a note, if you teach classroom music, by choosing the elementary educator option under the general style category, the notes and staves in your score will automatically be larger on the page and the eighth notes will be beamed in pairs rather than in fours. Depending on the type of score you're creating, Choose the appropriate document style to take advantage of the automatic fonts, customized markings, and score layout features. For this choral score, choose the Choral Engraver document style. Click the Next button to go to the next window. In the Add or Delete Instruments window, you will select the vocal or instrumental staves that you want in the score. At the top, where it says Select from all instruments, you can do a sort for the type of instrumentation you will be using. You can choose Choral and Voices, choose Pop Rock and Voices for more contemporary vocal styles, and select from any other types of instruments that you desire to use for the accompaniment. For this score example, choose the choral instruments. To set up the score for him to Joy, in column 1, choose the Voices family. In column 2, double-click on Soprano Voice to add it to the column 3, or click the Add button. Double-click on Alto, Tanner, and Bass Voices to add the staves to column 3. Do not add staves for the piano at this point, as we will use a plug-in to create an instant piano reduction later. Next score order, choose Choral. Just a reminder, 
If you're ever creating a custom score setup and want to save it as a template to use again, click on the Save as New Ensemble button, give the template a name, and click Save. It will be added to the list of templates in the previous Setup Wizard window. Click the Next button. In the Score Information window, type in Hymn to Joy in the title box. Press the Tab key twice to advance the cursor to the Composer box. Type in the Composer information. Finish entering information in all the remaining boxes or leave them blank. Click Next. In the Score Settings window, enter 4-4 time, key of concert G, and 8 measures. Just a reminder, you can always add or delete measures later at any time. Since there is no tempo marking or pickup measure in the score, the tempo marking and pickup measure boxes should not be checked. If you did have a pickup, add the sum of the pickup notes click on the corresponding note value, and the first measure will automatically be set. Click Finish and your score opens. The playback sounds and instrumental transpositions are automatic for each staff. Just a note, when you set up a choral score, the vocal staves use choir ahs as the default playback sounds. If you prefer to have the choral staves playback using a piano sound or another sound, you can always edit the settings in the Score Manager, which we will address later in this course.